What would I feel as a patient? What would be the first sign that I might be having mitochondrial problems? So let's dive into that. Hey, I'm Dr. A. Welcome to the YouTube channel. I've been researching, teaching in the integrative and naturopathic communities for over 30 years. And I use this channel to answer questions that people send in and questions patients have, etc. Well, if you want to break down mitochondrial dysfunction and its role in health, but really how does it make me feel if it's working or not working, the first thing you want to do is think about what do they do? Well, the mitochondria create energy for your cells. They also help you with cell respiration. It's sort of the mitochondria in the middle of that oxygen going in, carbon dioxide going out, but also cell respiration is a portion of also triggering your cells to take the junk out. Now there's other ways to do it, but it's a way to sort of detoxify, clean up the cell. And we do this trillions of times, you know, every minute and hopefully we keep that going. So generally when we have mitochondria that are not working appropriately, we have a constellation of first first signs or first symptoms. So what would those be? Well, the common grouping would be fatigue, poor healing, slow healing, sleep disturbances, brain fog, other things of that nature. And so you think, well, why isn't there just one problem? Well, if we go back to what is it the mitochondrial do, which is to create the energy for the cell. And then if you do that in the tissue, tissue energy, then do that in the organ, organ energy, and then all the organs, that's people energy, you literally feel how well your mitochondria are doing. So it might be perceived as something very straightforward, like they're running less speedy fatigue. Quick plug here, if you're a healthcare practitioner, or working with patients with these issues. I have a CE website and I do webinars on this topic and others. So we're going to put a link in the description below to the CE website link and the particular webinar of interest. Thank you. But then what's poor healing? Well, if I damage a tissue or a cell or an organ and the mitochondria are not running fast enough, I'm going to heal, but I'm going to do it at a slower level. So slow healing and poor healing is where that fits in. Then what about the non-fatigue mental things that I feel. Maybe I have brain fog. Maybe I have brain fog and trouble remembering things. Maybe I have sleep disturbance. Maybe I aggravate something I already have, which could be like anxiety or depression or other things like that. Why would that happen? Well, your brain has a very high density of mitochondria and mitochondrial activity. And so if we start to slow them down, the brain becomes able to keep up and less able to do its business. So whatever it's having trouble with, whether that's memory or global brain fog, or maybe aggravating something I already have like depression or anxiety, you could see where if I turn down the power in the brain, I'm going to have more dysfunction. Obviously your brain will still work, but it just won't feel very good. So we could go on and on, but the bottom line is we have poor cellular function and activity, which usually is felt by something like fatigue, could be a sign or a process like slow healing could be a more of a central thing like brain fog or other issues there. But they all go back to the fact that the mitochondria are unhappy. They're not processing, creating energy like they should. And so you now don't feel a hundred percent like you ought to. Thank you very much for asking that question. That's what we do here on the channel is answer your questions. Thank you for all you subscribers. Please, if you're not like, share, subscribe, notifications, all that. And we'll put some other cool information up here. We also have a whole part on the channel devoted as a playlist to mitochondrial function. All right, I'll see you later.